In our journey to find the Born to Shine prodigies, we came across some amazing talents. We now bring to you a one of its kind series wherein you will see some of the most talented prodigies coming together for creating a fusion of different Indian art forms. Welcome to Born to Shine Talent Mix Bag videos. Welcome to Born to Shine Talent Mix Bag. Hi, myself Shivi Gupta. I am from Bhopal and I study in class 9th in the school Sharda Vidya Mandir. So I am an artist and I make different paintings. Hi, my name is Sheetal Gupta and I am from Bhopal. I study in class 8 and in Sharda Vidya Mandir. I am an artist and I do painting. So today we are going to paint something similar but in different art forms. So I will be painting Banithani art and I will be painting Madhubani art. Uh, Bani Thani is an art form which uh, was firstly made by Nihal Chan in Kishangarh, Rajasthan. He painted this on the suggestion of uh, Raja Savan Singh for his wife uh, Bani Thani and Bani Thani was a poet and a singer. This painting is also known as the Mona Lisa of India due to its very beautiful features and the way it is painted. I am going to do Madhubani painting and I am going to tell you about Madhubani painting. Madhubani painting was earlier known as Mithila painting and is practiced in the Mithila region of uh, Nepal and India. It was originated from the Madhubani district of Bihar. It is done in five distinctive styles Godna, Gobar, Kachni, Bharni and Tantrik. So the similarities between our painting would be that we would paint uh, Radha Rani. She would do it in Madhubani style and I would do it in Banithani style. Mainly it is Radha Rani ji and uh, if we have done it in different styles so we have added elements according to the style we are doing. And in Bani Thani, we have to mainly focus on the features like uh, the eyes we paint and the nose we make. So they should be in proportion so that it enhances the beauty of the painting. In Madhubani, the face should be enhanced and the features also should be enhanced. And there's a style called Kachni. Uh, so it is a style we make uh, borders and in that we do Lie, uh, we fill with it lines. Today we will be mixing two arts and will be jammed together with all these colors. It is very important for us to recognize the Indian culture and its art forms as if we move on with the western culture then we would never come onto the Indian track which uh, is the base of all the art forms. So I prefer that we must start with the Indian culture and uh, we must stay on that track. I feel that Indian art and culture should not be missed because of the western art and modern art. So Indian art is very special and even difficult as we need to focus on each of the part we make and uh, we cannot leave any or we cannot skip any part uh, just to uh, unfinish. So we need to enhance in it and we need to do it with more perfection which is uh, not found generally in the western arts we make. It is a very relaxing feeling as uh, whenever we need to relax we paint. People paint when they are free but we uh, paint when we have to be free. So that is the difference. The main things we, uh, which we would require is watercolors and uh, brushes. I would be requiring poster colors, brushes and a mixing palette. So whatever we are going to prepare uh, will take approximately 2 hours. So there is a variety of uh, tribal arts and the traditional arts in our Indian culture such as Bani Thani art, Madhubani art, Gon paintings, Bheel paintings, uh, Warli art and many more. I love painting and I mostly love to make uh, theme paintings and folk, uh, folk arts. Like uh, my favourite art is Pichwai and Madhubani art.
So our painting is done and now we are going to reveal our painting. This is my painting and it's a Madhubani painting in which it shows Radha Rani and some elements of nature as it is showed and uh, it, uh, it is filled with uh, lines like I said it is called Kachni and uh, it is the main feature of Madhubani. So now I would reveal my painting. This is the Bani Thani art form which I have made. As I have said earlier it mainly focuses on the features like eyes and nose and even lips. They should be in proportion so that they look more beautiful in the painting. They should not be very realistic and they should not be very artificial as well. So uh, we hope that you have liked our art forms and you will uh, grab your paintbrush and start doing yours in an art form. With this we want to take Indian art globally and we want people to know about all these Indian art forms which are getting rare day by day but we want to conserve the heritage of India. So please like, share and subscribe our art.